Hey everyone, here we have another one from Shop Goodwill. Uh, these are definitely getting harder to come by reasonably priced ones. Um, this one ended up being with tax and shipping about 283. Um, all told, it should be about 3,000 cards. Each uh, fat pack box should hold about five to 600. Um, they did not show any of the cards pulled out that could be good or bad. There could be completely commons all through the thing. Um, or there could be some hidden gems in there. Some of these look like there's stuff with a little bit of older cards. Uh, so that could be a good sign. This is what I'm about, a total gamble on these. So some of the Goodwills are getting very good at showing off what is in there. Um, they've learned from some guy that keeps showing up on the internet to tell you you can get scores out of these. Um, this one has sleeves all in it. And if my math is correct, based on the uh, shipping weight, they should hopefully be actually filled with cards, so we'll find out. Um, I have gotten lots in the past where that's just empty sleeves. So here's hoping there's some good stuff in there. Let's get into the box. All right. Um, barely see it, but there's the label. Let's open it up. Box is really tall. Let's pull them out. Oh my gosh, they've opted to use the tried and true method of bubble wrapping the entire thing all at once. Yeah, they packed these up really good. All right, let's get into these and start scanning. Um, could be all commons. Could be all dragon's maze. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wear and tear. So that's pretty decent. Uh, that's definitely pickable. As an uncommon, it's a buck. That's our first keeper right out of the bat. Only 284 more of those that we need. Congregation at dawn might be a little bit. There we go, 599. That was worth pulling out of there. Kasali Pride Mage.
Spell Swindle. Hey, Brassy's Contempt. Spell Swindle, 428. Hey, we're actually maybe getting somewhere here. Brassy's Contempt, a buck 94. Spirit, so it's four bucks. Hey, there we go. Foliage worldly tutor just sitting in the middle of all this. That's awesome. It's in good shape, too. Well, being 27.54, that is pretty awesome. So, I'm really puzzled about this lot here. I mean, it's it's well picked. I mean, there's Ikoria stuff right next to it. Um, I'm at a loss. Somebody didn't know that a worldly tutor was worth picking. It seems unlikely. Spear safety. I wonder when we'd run into some of the wow, four bucks. Man, that thing just goes and goes. It's last time I picked them, they were probably a dollar.
468 for two of them. So that helps a bit. Private research. Hard to tell the color on that on that uh, set symbol there. I, I'm guessing this must be an uncommon. Uncommon, and it has a foil though. It's an old foil. Five ninety nine. Hey, very interesting. So. Okay, here we go with this last box, which should be the box with the sleeved cards in it. I hope there's cards in here. It does seem to be. So we've got quite a bit of ground to make up with this last box, about $140 or so. So, hoping for something good in here. Let's see what we got. We've got foreign Mercadian mask commons and uncommons. That's not gonna do it. Come on. Need some good, no, no, more Dragon's Maze. All right, really need some spicy rares. We gotta go for the throat, which is um, a little bit. Bing, it's 279, and turn off the scan. Marchesa, the black res, eh, might be a little bit. There we go, 550. Decree of pain. A little bit there. Clone Legion, a mythic for nine. It's actually four bucks. Fell war stone, this should be a little bit. From the list, this one is the commander, six bucks. Come on, almost gonna make it. Whoa, is this the one? Kindred dominance, 30 bucks. To use a creature type, destroy all creatures that aren't of the chosen type, so wipe away everything but your tribe. I'll throw that one back in a sleeve. And we'll put it right there. So that would uh, almost get us there. It almost gets us there. Sulfur Falls is a good card. So there, we upgraded this deck a little bit with uh, a nice land there.
docent to perfection. This car is cool. Flip it into the final iteration. Four bucks. Okay, I'm gonna start Harbinger of the Tides. We got a Merfolk Wizard. Only 55 cents a drowned catacomb. That's nice. Very nice. So that actually does it. Puts us over the top. We broke even. And then we got a little bit left to go here. Dead Eye Navigator. Which is uh, probably due for a reprint now that it's 10 bucks. 12 bucks even. That's great. Vindictive Lich. So that's a pretty decent uh, commander deck. Yeah, there we go. 11 bucks for the Lich. Zombie Wizard. So coming through at the end here. Here, click four ninety nine. Hey, nothing big in a Dragon Skull Summit. Uh, should be okay. Four nineteen. There we go, ended up at 317 off of 283. So just barely breaking even. And uh, the reality is, is when I go to sell this stuff, I'll probably lose money. But hey, I had fun. And uh, it's always exciting to get to a batch where there's actually some decent stuff. Um, and much better than going through the entire thing and it being just pure commons and uncommons. Um, so that's very cool. Uh, Hunch was correct, these were um, sleeve cards, um, and they actually were, uh, you know, decks at one time, and actually a full commander deck that paid off a bit. So I'm um, happy here in the end. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you on the next one.